everyone, this is Elena from the Berg Public Library and today I want to talk about our summer reading program which officially kicks off on Tuesday, June 30th and runs until August 15th. It is open to all students entering grades K through 12 and all you need to do to participate is just start reading or start completing some activities from our uh, fun activity list we've provided. And I did put together some packets that you can pick up from the library and that has all the information you need, it has all the forms you need, except uh, if you follow us on Facebook, you'll see that I did make a whole stack of packets and gave them out that were missing the two most important forms. So I apologize for that, but it is an easy fix. We have these forms available right on our website on, under the Summer Reading tab. And you can also um, pick these up from the library at any time. We have an entire folder on the front of our uh, book return bin that has all the summer reading tracker forms and the activity lists. And we also have a way that you can participate entirely online this year. So if you don't want to pick the forms up, um, you can just uh, participate through the website Beanstack. So I'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, first, I want to talk about our tracker sheet. Um, so this is our tracker sheet for this year. Um, and basically for every book that you read or activity you complete from the list that we've included, you're going to fill in a block on the tracker sheet. And the activity list that we have, uh, we decided to include this again this year. We did this uh, last year. So I think that was our first time ever doing it. And it was very popular. We got a lot of great feedback about including activities as a way for people to participate in summer reading instead of just books. And uh, that's great. We loved hearing that feedback. We love how many families chose to do these activities together. They were making new recipes together. They were playing board games together. Um, so we wanted to give you the opportunity to do that again this summer. And you can repeat these activities as many times as you want. So for example, um, one of them is to read a book set in Maine. If you do that five times, that counts as five different squares on your tracker form. If you, uh, one of them is make a recipe using blueberries, and we added that, we added a couple that are Maine specific because of Maine's bicentennial this year. So if you make five recipes that include blueberries, that's five squares. So you can do them as many times as you want. And then again, you're going to also fill out a square for every book that you complete. And if you read the same book multiple times, that counts too. Um, we're very open about what counts. Uh, we want you to have fun. So every time you fill in a square, one square equals one raffle ticket for a chance to win some of our prizes. So let's talk about prizes. We have four prizes this year, but we have multiples of some of the prizes. So there's actually 24 altogether that we're giving out. Um, the first one is a day pass to Storyland in Glen, New Hampshire. And this is actually valid all the way through the 2021 season. So if you win, you don't need to worry about going anytime soon. And that is going to be um, a total of 12 winners will be chosen. We also have from Hilltop Fun Center a prize pack that includes four games of mini golf, two laser tag passes, and two rock wall slash bungee jumper passes. And that's going to be one winner. Uh, from Dover Bowl, we have a gift certificate for one hour of bowling for up to six people with shoe rentals included, and that will be one winner. And then from Barnes & Noble, we have a $10 gift card, and we're going to have 10 winners chosen for that prize. Um, some of these were donated by the businesses, so we do want to say thank you to Storyland, Hilltop Fun Center, and Dover Bowl for being so generous and for helping us put together the summer reading program. And this is really the most important thing about the tracker form is the, actually the back of it. So this is what's really different this year than from previous years. So normally you'd fill out your form and you'd come into the library and the library staff would total everything for you and give you the physical raffle tickets to go enter into the buckets for the prizes you want. And we can't do that this year. So this is where you're going to have to do an extra step on your own. So you're going to total up all the blocks you filled in. If you filled in the whole sheet, it's 30 blocks, I believe. Um, if you don't fill in the whole sheet by the time that the summer reading program is over, just submit whatever you have. As long as you have one block filled in, that's one ticket, that counts. You only need one ticket to win. Um, so go ahead and submit that. Just put any full sheets you have or any 
half full sheets if the program is ending um, right in our book return bin and we'll we'll receive it and take care of it from there and if there's still time left in the program and you want to keep going you can fill out as many of these sheets as you want um, again I said there is a there's tracker sheets attached right to our book return bin just grab a new form and keep going so you're gonna total up the number of squares you filled in and you're going to um, mark here next to each prize how many of your tickets you want to enter for those prizes and it's up to you how you want to do that if you want to enter a little in each drawing that's fine if you want to go all in on one particular prize that's fine too and you're going to make sure your name and your phone number are up here on the top otherwise we won't be able to let you know that you won um, so definitely make sure you filled this in before you submit this form otherwise we don't know what what you want to enter and we're not going to just pick for you because you might want one more than the other um, so this again is on the back of the tracker form so this year we're actually completing our entire raffle online and we're doing that through a website called Beanstack. Now Beanstack is something that um, I actually I had never heard of it until this year but it's something that the Maine State Library was able to arrange for Maine libraries to use this year if we cho chose to and um, we decided to offer it in addition to the paper forms. Um, the paper forms are what's familiar to all of us <laughs> but we did want to create an online option just in case people wanted to try it out and it's something we wouldn't normally be able to offer. Um, so Beanstack is it's pretty cool, actually, and it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is um, go to the special Berwick site on Beanstack, and the web address for that is berwick.beanstack.org, and um, just follow the whole login process, and it will tell you how to register. And once you have an account set up on there, all you really need to worry about are just two different tabs. And the first is up in the top left corner of the screen, right by our um, Berwick Library logo. And it is a large green button. And it says Log Reading and Activities. And that button will open up um, a new page that allows you to enter in every book that you've read or check off from um, a list all the activities that you've done. And again, you can click them off multiple times. And it's the same exact activity list. There's no difference um, between the paper forms and Beanstag, except one is online. So um, once you've finished logging activities, Beanstack will award you the raffle ticket. So you don't have to do any counting. So that does make that a little easier. Uh, Beanstack, however, does use the word points. And I just don't want that to get too confusing. Um, for everything that you complete, Beanstack will say, you've got a point. You've got a point. And one point is one raffle ticket. Same thing. So just think of it that way. Point, raffle ticket. So um, when you are ready to enter your tickets into the drawings, and you can do this every time you read a book, or you could do this all at once near the end of the program, however you want to do it, you can always go back and change your mind about the tickets you've entered. Um, there is another button that says Ticket Drawings, and under that tab you'll see how many tickets that you have to spend on the raffles, and you'll see the different raffle options, and you can just say, I want to put five in this one and two here, or no way, I changed my mind, I don't want to enter those at all, I want to take them out and put them back in the first one. You can do all those things. Um, and as long as you get all of your tickets entered by the end of the day on August 15th, um, they, they will count. So, so that is Beanstack, and if you are not participating, using um, Beanstack, you're going to be using the paper forms. We, the library staff, will take care of entering all of your raffle tickets for you. That's why you need to fill out the back of that form. We will just go in and manually add your tickets to the drawing. And Beanstack is actually going to pull the winners for us. So that's pretty cool and something a little different for us. And this information is all available on our website. If you are on our homepage, you'll see a tab that says Summer Reading Program. Just hover on that and you'll see a whole drop down menu that has a bunch of options about uh, learning about Beanstack, finding more tracker forms, and actually learning about our art and photo contest. And that is the last thing that I want to talk about today. And we've called this our main Through Our Eyes Art and Photography Contest. And it is open to all ages. Um, so yes, even adults can participate in this, this um, particular contest. It is going to run from June 30th to August 8th and this is a really open-ended theme um, we wanted to just do something to celebrate Maine's bicentennial and we decided to simply ask 
our um, you know our patrons what what do you see as Maine? What is Maine through your eyes? You know, it could be um, a food, it could be a location, uh, it could be just something that you imagine that you want to paint. Um, whatever whatever you want, it's it's very open ended. But the winner will have their artwork on a uh, note card. So last year we did bookmarks, this year it's a set of note cards. And we will have four winners um, based on age group. And all the information that you need about how to submit your artwork and how to participate is all included um, right on our website. And it is also included on the um, this form that you'll see in the summer reading packet if you, if you picked one of those up. Um, so those are the major things to talk about for our summer reading program. Um, there are some some changes. It's going to be a little different um, not being able to physically uh, see you all and, and tally things together and, and do the actual physical raffle drawings, but um, it's, it's still, I think, a lot of the same elements. I think you'll recognize a lot of things from years past, and I hope that you enjoy some of the new things that we've offered, and um, we look forward to our summer together and apart, kind of, both. <laughs> so, um, so so thank you for listening, and um, I hope that you'll participate in this year's program and that you'll also submit something for uh, this year's photography contest. Thank you for watching. Bye.